Now joined by Ryan McKenna, center fielder for the Bowie Bay Sox. Ryan, thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. So you are a New England kid. We won't reveal your affiliations in terms of your team, <laughs> but uh, you recently went on a uh, road trip up there and you crushed the ball. Does it feel good to do better against, uh, you know, in an area that you're familiar with? Yeah, it was awesome being back there. I mean, the home environment, you know, it's not necessarily, you know, buoy the home um, for yeah. our affiliate, but it's for me, you know, it's, it's pretty nostalgic going to a place that you went when you were a kid. And, you know, I saw Hanley Ramirez play there when I was like 10, yeah, or something like that. Wow. So, yeah, it was pretty nostalgic, um, you know, love there. And, you know, the weather was, we got lucked out. The weather was pretty awesome. So, yeah, it was it was awesome to see family and, you know, friends that came out and supported me. Nice, yeah. How, how much, uh, how many family and friends did yeah, you get? Yeah, there was quite a few uh, people on the ticket list, uh, yeah, yeah. which was good. I mean, I, I had no problem with it. So it was, yeah. it was awesome. And, you know, I got to see some kids that I played Little League with and, you know, family friends and, and church friends. So it was, it was really, really cool. That's awesome. Well, it's your yeah. second he year here in Bowie. Started last year at Frederick where you hit 370 something. Mm -hmm. Then you get called up. Um, is it a little bit easier this year starting the year in one place? I think so. Yeah, I think uh, I'm more comfortable here now. And, um, you know, making that transition last year was definitely a, a learning experience and, yeah. you know, just a different group of guys. and you know, just kind of learning the ins and outs of the game at a higher level. And, you know, I think it's, you know, it's been good, you know, throughout your career, you're going to learn and, you know, adapt certain things. So I think, you know, applying that ideology is going to be big for me. And, you know, hopefully I can spread that to other people too. So. Absolutely. The one thing that we have heard consistently about you is how good your defense is in center field. <laughs> is that something that you pride yourself on? Yeah, of course. Um, I think ever since I was drafted, there's a big emphasis on, you know, defense is a priority here. And, you know, we got to make sure that uh, we're solid in a lot of the fundamentals and that. And I think just kind of applying those, you know, ideas and um, in practice and spring training and every day and really working at those reps that are going to help me um, go forward. And, you know, just trying to, you know, in batting practice, get your reads and, you yeah. know, do what you're supposed to. And, um, yeah, it's just kind of using those tools and trying to help the team win is, you know, been a, an importance to me. So, and obviously, as you go up through the levels of the minor leagues, the hitting, the, the pitching gets so much tougher. So hitting gets so much tougher. Mm -hmm. Is it a different game defensively out there, or is it pretty much the same as you go up? Um, the guys, I think, you know, the three, four, five hitters probably have a little more juice than uh, or power than you know in the lower levels. Uh, you know, they take their air swings a little bit more efficiently, and, you know, I think that's something to be aware of. Um, you know, the pitching is good, like you were saying, so, yeah. you know, the two-strike approaches have to be a little more sound, so they, the, there's probably going to be a little more contact with two strikes, so you got to be aware of, you know, trying to protect from those flares and stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah it's just kind of applying the knowledge that you've, you've gained over the years and, you know, seeing what's, you know, actually happening and, and trying to prevent, you know, certain outcomes and, and all that stuff, so. And with this new organizational emphasis on analytics, mm -hmm. defensively out there in center field, has that changed the game for you this year? Is there more of a shift or is there something going on out there? Um, I wouldn't say it's too much. Um, I think, you know, right now we have a feel of, you know, what guys we played a lot of the same teams a lot. And, uh, you know, we have a lot of good ideas of what the hitters like to do against our certain pitchers. So, okay. um, yeah, and a lot of it's reading the, you know, swings in mid at bat. If a guy fouls off a ball, you know, inside, um, you know, he, he's probably looking pole side. So it's like, right. you know, you make that adjustment accordingly. And, um, yeah, it's, you know, I think that's just the, been the biggest thing for me. And, you know, analytics, you can, it's good for over the long term and try to look back and, you know, see what's going on in the season. So, yeah, it's it's going to benefit us, you know, no matter what. Yeah. So, Well, something Orioles fans have gotten used to seeing this year with the big league team is a lot of outfielders. You'll see Trey Mancini pull a card out yeah. of his pocket, check it. Do you guys have the cards out here? Um, we do not. Yeah, we haven't utilized those yet, but it's a great, you know, it's a great thing. Um, yeah. You know, I think a lot of there's a different they, they play a lot of the same teams, but I think uh, specifically for those, you know, right. um, certain games and stuff, and it's good to have like a really identified area to be and, 
you know, it's it's going to help. So, yeah, hopefully uh, we'll see how it goes for, you know, Bowie this year. But uh, we might have those at the end of the year. Yeah. yeah. Have, have you heard good things from the guys who have gotten to use those cards? Yes. Oh, yeah. We use them in spring training when I okay. was up there. And, you know, Arnie's a great, you know, he has feel, too. You know, if he sees something, he'll move you. And, right. Um, you know, it's 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 a, it's a good baseline to have, but you know, you make the in-game adjustments as well. So gotcha, and that's pretty much. I mean, is that how detailed of a scouting report can you fit onto a card about yeah, the right? entire opponent? Yeah, yeah, those things. The font's pretty small. So yeah. they, try to... <laughs> they fit as much info as yeah. you can on there, but uh, yeah, no, it's good. It's good to have a good baseline and. I feel and, like, uh, yeah, I feel like they're cheat sheets for like high school. Yeah, you know, like exactly, write some right? stuff down on a note it's like card. Like the biology equation, you got to fit <laughs> on there, and you're like, all right, here we go. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So for you at the plate this year, have you made any adjustments in terms of what the coaches have told you, mm -hmm. changing your swing or anything like that? Um, yeah, I think uh, I, I came off to a slow start, which was, you know, unfortunate for this year. But, you know, it's a long season. You got a lot more ball games to go. And I think for me, it's just staying aggressive and, you know, really trying to attack my pitches in my zone. And um, I think, you know, using that going forward is going to really help me. And, you know, it worked out. Some clicked when I was back home. And just kind of feeling where my hands are and stuff like that and you know trying to identify those pitches in my zone and you know I think going forward that's yeah it's going to be you know big for me and hopefully finish the year strong so it'll be good. Awesome and how do you like the clubhouse under Buck Britton his first year at the team? It's been good yeah he's uh, he's definitely a good guy and good guy to have at the you know the reins of the team so it's yeah, yeah it's been fun he keeps it light and you know but good positive attitude every day which is huge immensely important for a team to try to win a ball game every night so it's it's been good awesome and you guys have turned it around quite a lot in the past month you yeah. guys playing a better better baseball <laughs> all around yeah i think so um you know it's always good to win you, you know you hate to lose and um i think that's going to drive us going forward and you know hopefully we'll, we'll keep winning those ball games and you know go from there so absolutely well we wish you guys continued success as uh, the year goes along and uh, hopefully we'll see you rise up through that orioles organization sounds good yeah sounds good to me appreciate it yeah ryan mckenna joining us here on mass and all access